Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Daily Fresh Manna. Today is January the 5th. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank God for this day because this is the day that he has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. And we are here. Praise God. Today uh, we are looking again at um, how we could take our every thought captive to the obedience of Jesus Christ. And let us become partners of the divine nature of our Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we're going to first look at today Ephesians chapter 6, verse number 16. It says, in all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. Believe and trust the word of God. Do not take matters into our own hands, but let us yield to the voice of the Lord. Use your shield of faith in the word, in all circumstances. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let us do that. It said in all circumstances, use the shield of faith. The next verse that we're looking at is found in Galatians chapter 5 and verse number 16. Galatians 5 and verse number 16. So, I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives, then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. The sinful nature wants to do evil, which is just the opposite of what the Spirit wants. And the Spirit gives us desires that are opposite of what the sinful nature desires. These two forces are constantly fighting each other, so you are not free to carry out your good intentions. But when you are directed by the Holy Spirit, you are not under obligation to the law. So let's look at this, okay? Galatians 5, 16. If being led by the Holy Spirit involves the desire to hear the readiness to obey. I'll say that again. Being led by the Holy Spirit involves the desire to hear and the readiness to obey God's word and the sensitivity to discern between your feelings and his promptings. Live each day controlled and guided by the Holy Spirit. Then the words of Christ will be in your mind, the love of Christ will be in your actions, and the power of Christ will keep you control, controlling your selfish desires. I'll say that again. Then the words of Christ will be in your mind. The love of Christ will be behind your actions, and the power of Christ will help you control your selfish desires. Praise God. Amen, amen, and amen. Now let's look at the third verse we're looking at today, which is found in Second Peter Chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. By his divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know him, the one who calls us to himself by means of his marvelous glory and excellence. And because of his glory and excellence, He has given us great and precious promises. These are the promises that enable us to share in his divine nature and escape the world's corruption 
caused by human desires. So let's look at this. The power to lead a godly life comes from God. Because we don't have the resources to be truly godly, God allows us to share his divine nature in order to keep us from sin and help us live for him. When we are born again, God, by his power, empowers us with his own goodness, praise God, to live the life that he has called us to live in this journey here on earth. Glory to God. So let, let us become partakers of his divine nature. Praise God. Let us be led by the Holy Spirit and not by our flesh, in our thoughts, our words, and our deeds. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your everlasting goodness toward us. Your word declares, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new, as it is written in 2 Corinthians 5.17. We declare that we are a new creation in Christ. All things have passed away, and we have become brand new. We are no longer controlled or manipulated by our past sins, failures, iniquities, but we have been made clean by the atoning blood of Jesus Christ. By faith, we possess the mind of Christ. We submit our thought life to the word of God and declare that we think and reason like Jesus Christ. We command any and all mind-binding spirits to leave us right now in the name of Jesus Christ and by his blood. Our heart is receptive to your truth, O Lord, and your word renews our mind. The more we think on godly things, the more we are changed into the image and character of Jesus Christ, our Lord. We declare that the life of Almighty God is made manifested in and through us daily through Jesus Christ. And we declare that the peace of God that passes all understanding rules in our hearts and our minds. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. God bless you today. Let us become partners of the divine nature of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, this day. God bless you and keep you, and heaven smile upon you always. Amen and amen.